Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be walking you through how to create an A-team that's really going to take your agency to new heights. If you're just starting your, your agency, there's going to be absolutely massive to get this right. And if you're already in the game and you've been in the game for a while now, it might be the case that you haven't really optimized this part, the, the team build inside of things, and that might be slowing you down. Because quite simply, I wouldn't blame you. There's really not enough people talking about this aspect of building agency. Uh, most people just focus on, on you know, selling, 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 which is, uh, you know, as, as you guys probably know, uh, if you're a subscriber of this channel, it's something that I'm, I'm really, really passionate about, the sales and outreach side of SMA. That's really what I teach people. But building a, you know, building a, an incredible team, building an A team, and really optimizing that whole structure is such a revenue generating activity because look, a, a team is really, you know, you might be the best person at, at sales. You might, you might have mastered that side, but if you haven't, if you can't really provide amazing results for your clients, if you haven't really put enough thought into this, then that's really, really going to uh, slow down your scale. You might be able to sign clients, but you might not be able to keep those clients, and it's really going to make your your SMA journey just a painful drag and and not allow you to to sleep very tight uh, at night. So that's what I want to do with this video. The first thing that I want to say and that I, I see a lot of people get wrong is number one, they think that an agency should be a one-man team until they reach some sort of you know, scale or a magic number when it comes to, to clients. That is completely wrong. And if you have that perception, it's gonna be very, very hard for you to actually scale. If you're trying to build out an agency, it's not like e-commerce or, you know, uh, it's not like dropshipping or, or Shopify uh, or uh, trading stocks or Bitcoin, you actually have to build a team, which is really one of the things I love about SMA because it just feels like you're you're building an actual business um, and you're actually you know communicating with people uh, and that gives you incredible, incredible uh, skills and, and knowledge uh, moving forward in your business career. But if you're just starting out, you should really focus on finding someone that, that's gonna be uh, delivering the service for yourself, that's gonna be taking care of the service delivery for yourself so that you can pretty much just focus on growing the business, which means sales outreach, uh, growing the business upwards, while the person that, that, that you've hired uh, is, is really you know cleaning things up and taking care of the, the whole service delivery and also communicating with clients and just having a, a very, very strong backend. So that's the first misconception that I see people have, you know, go, you know going solo until they, they reach some sort of skill. If you go that route, it's gonna cost you a lot, a lot of pain. The second uh, misconception and the second mistake I see a lot of people make is they try to make their team as, as big as they possibly can. Uh, because, you know, for a lot of people, that that uh, that defines success. You know, a lot of people think is a successful business is dictated by the number of people that are in a business, which is absolutely false. And if you have that, that conception, if you have that understanding of business, it's completely backwards. Because ideally, what you want to do is decrease the number of people in your business, but increase output. And so the number of people that are working on your business have has no direct correlation to the results of that business and to the success of those businesses. In fact, you know, for example, if we take Instagram as an example, they go to a billion dollar valuation with 11 people in their team. So yeah, that's that's a really not an indication of success. So those are really the, the two main uh, misconceptions that I see a lot of people have when they're building a team. This is really the, the ideal structure that you wanna have when you're building an agency. First of all, we've got you. So you're the CEO. Uh, you're the CEO, uh, founder. You guys are gonna see that it's very, very simple. And right below you, a straight line of communication is gonna be the contractor. Slash employee. Let's draw this guy right here. So when you're just starting out, this person will be a contractor, guy delivering the service for you, the expert at the service that, you, that you'll be selling. Um, when you, you reach a, a good scale where it makes sense to bring this person on uh, as an employee, then obviously you should actually bring them on as an employee. It's gonna have financial benefits for the business. It's gonna make you more uh, legitimate for sure. Um, and it's just gonna be seen as a much more uh, stable business in the eyes of, of business owners as well. Um, and also you get much better relations and just a stronger uh, team dynamic when you bring them on as an employee. But contractor, you, know, you can really, really set this uh, relationship up amazingly well even as a contractor. And that's one of the things that, that I'll be talking about in later videos. And this really the, the very simple structure that an A team for an agency should have. Uh, another question that I, I, I hear quite a lot, quite often, is how many clients should, I, should this uh, person handle until I bring on a, a new guy? And so 
here's really what you know b before you start any work really uh, is you want to find out what the maximum capacity of this person is for me it's really important to to always keep it be just below the, the maximum capacity because oftentimes at maximum capacity this person is not going to operate at at the same um at the same percentage that they're operating with a, a lot of fewer clients and so when it comes to that point that they're reaching maximum capacity you have two options okay and here are the two options number one is you decrease clients but you increase the value of those clients number two is you bring on a new guy to deliver the service alongside this guy I strongly recommend the first option because it's going to reduce a lot of complexity for you and for this person as well as you'll see in just a second and also you can have fewer clients paying you more and what i can tell you from experience is that those clients that pay more are actually nicer to to uh, just do business with uh, they're also uh, easier to keep uh, because they they just have a complete different approach to doing business and they're a complete different type of client so what i would do is i would go with the first option decreasing the the, the number of clients but really focusing on, on those clients that pay more and and really focusing on, on on signing clients that are in that caliber and that are in that level if you do decide to go with the second option, which is which is bring on a, a new guy uh, for your team, this is really the structure that I recommend, okay? So let's just say that the maximum capacity for this guy is 10 clients, uh, but for me, what I would do is the maximum capacity, just assume that it's eight clients until you know quality uh, just really starts decreasing and, and you get um, diminishing returns from this guy. So this guy would handle eight clients, let's just say, and then you bring on John, a uh, new guy delivering the service and you hand you you hand uh, this guy uh two clients that just that you, you onboarded uh, just now here's how that structure would look like the first thing that i want you to keep in mind is i'm always thinking how how can i structure my agency so that it decreases a lot it decreases a lot of communication overhead and it just makes it so you know really just so effortless to to uh, handle and not be you know on your phone 24 7 uh, you know speaking to clients and just very very stressed out so you know we want to make it as, as stress-free as possible and so to do that what i would do is there would be no communication between these guys and these guys would report to either you so they would both report to you or even better you'd have you'd have a general manager uh you'd have a general manager come in who would then report to you now you might be thinking, well, that's that's a very very expensive addition to the team, but you know this guy doesn't have to be paid that much. It's just going to be a point of contact, uh, but it's really gonna it's really gonna make your life so much easier because you might think that you know having two people report to you it's just double the communication, but in fact it's a lot more than that. It's it's probably three, four, five times uh, more. This guy is also going to be a lot more experienced, so he's just going to know the the system so much better. Uh, but you're gonna have to train this guy and this guy's gonna have to get accustomed to the whole ecosystem And so it's not just gonna be double the communication. It's gonna be three four times And so it's just gonna be putting a lot of burden on you just for two clients And so that's why I recommend the first uh, choice, but this GM guy uh, You don't have to pay him that you know that much because obviously the role is not amazingly huge um, And it would just be your, your point of contact everything would go through this guy uh, and then um, and then to you so that's really the structure that i would recommend but what i recommend guys is to just focus on this one guy and have it just be a two-way street a, a two um a two-way conversation and the last thing that i want you guys to keep in mind is that you really want to instead of you know hiring a bunch of people to do a bunch of like manual tasks even if even if it costs you the same you want to focus on just finding one guy that can do the job of you know save three people or four people you will really want to find a players who can do the job of 10 B players. And that option might even be uh, more expensive, um, but it's really just the best way to do business because it's gonna reduce so much complexity. It's gonna reduce the, the size of your team. It's gonna be less communication between all members um, and it's gonna, it's gonna allow you to move much faster and, and uh, allow you guys to be a lot more agile. So that's the last thing that I would say, focus on A players, focus on having people that can do a lot of stuff very, very well. Uh, they can do for example copywriting you know for example if you're if you've hired a uh, an online advertiser uh, to run uh, facebook ads you, you don't just want to hire a media buyer then a, a copywriter then a creative person you want to have you want to hire uh, just a, a, a well-rounded uh, advertiser that can do can do amazing copywriting that can do that can that has like a creative eye and that, that that's also a, a sick media buyer so that's really uh, the last thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. And there's a structure that I would rec recommend. CEO to uh, contractor employee. Uh, and if you know complexity gets bigger, 
and you wanna go with a sec uh, this second option and scale uh, horizontally, then you can do this. So that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. Lastly, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. Any topic ideas that you'd like to cover next, also leave them down and I'll be checking those out. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. There's so much co content coming out in the upcoming days. You're not gonna wanna miss out. And lastly, guys, I've just started my uh, Instagram account. Uh, it's going to be all about digital marketing, entrepreneurship, as may sales outreach. I'm going to be putting out a lot of content there that I'm, going, I'm not going to be putting out on YouTube. And uh, it's going to be of huge value. So go ahead and check it out. That's going to be uh, my username. And you can also uh, check it out on the, uh, on the link on, on the description. So until next time, guys, uh, hope everything is going well in your uh, SMA journey. Take care and uh, peace.